seeing as I often have to drive relatively long distances in an electric car, which I quite enjoy doing actually, I've come to thinking a bit more about how I can improve my range. You might know some of these things, you might not, but you might not know that um, doing something that people think improves their range can actually decrease your range. Hello my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. EV range, people talk about this all the time and it doesn't really matter that much unless you're going on a long distance trip or unless you're just you know driving a few hours away, you might find that your efficiency of your car is a lot less than what it's been quoted. I've gotten a lot of emails over the years saying, I bought this car, can you tell me if what's wrong with this car? I'm only getting this, I'm only getting 60% of the quoted range. What's going on? This is this is crazy. Now, there's a few reasons for why that could be. Five points here on how you can improve your range. And one thing you might be doing that's actually decreasing your range without you realizing it. I'll get straight to that one, what that is. Tire pressure. A lot of people think that by increasing their tire pressure, they'll get more range. And well, that's kind of true and kind of not. Tire pressure and rolling resistance is definitely a factor. One of the easiest and cheapest things you can do, check your tires. Low pressure increases rolling resistance, meaning the car needs more energy just to keep moving. Even being down 10 PSI can cost you three to 5% of your range. Down 10 PSI, it's possible. I've seen people do this. In fact, I have, I've done it, but only because of a slow leak and it massively decreased my efficiency and my range just by having one single tire that was down it was actually down about 10 psi for one tire had a slow leak had to keep pumping it up over anyway that was it made a huge difference just having one tire imagine how many imagine how much difference it would make to have four tires so three to five percent is the difference in range between 380 kilometers and 400 kilometers 20 kilometers of range proper inflation and if possible low rolling resistance tires they can add back 20 to 30 kilometers of range on a long trip. That's a big difference. Could even be more than that. I mean, if you're looking at, if, say you're running around 30 PSI, if you were to increase that to approximately 38 PSI, you'd get quite a lot more range. You might even get 10% more range. But here's the thing. A lot of people think, and I've seen people do this, they think putting massive amounts of pressure in their tire, well, just put more in, put more in. I mean, they think, you know, if more is good, then more better, more, more. <laughs> like, come on, this is what people do. I've seen them. I've actually looked at some people's tires and they're running like 44 PSI. That is actually going to decrease your range. It is definitely going to decrease your range unless you are driving on the world's most perfect road. I mean, the most perfect, perfect, perfect road, unlikely you are. So, the reason that too much pressure actually decreases your range is because you'll find your, your actual tires will bump and skip across the road. And we know this from Formula One, for example. We know tire pressures are, are hugely important uh, from the Tour de France, from professional road cycling. There's been many, many research studies done on this that I've obsessively looked at. And tire pressure has been something that they've looked at and realized we were running our tires way too hard, way too hard. And by lowering their tire pressure, they actually increase their efficiency significantly. So with your EV, yeah, don't go too high. If you're going above 38 PSI, you're going too hard, most likely. And you're going to actually get diminishing, not diminishing returns, you're going to get start to get a negative feedback. And if your roads are bumpy or just not smooth, it's going to be even worse. Number two, driving speed. So Speed, of course, makes the biggest difference. And some people say to me, I'm not getting much range on this EV, it's nowhere near claimed. And I say to them, how fast are you going? And they say, oh, about 120, 130 on the freeway. And I say, yeah, that's the biggest reason why. EVs are incredibly efficient in the city, but once you hit the freeway, aero drag eats your battery. For example, if your car gets 417 kilometers of range at 110 kilometers an hour, the same car might only get 375 kilometers at 120 kilometers an hour. That's a 42 kilometer penalty just for driving a bit faster. If you slow down by five to 10 kilometers an hour, you'll instantly see a lot more range. 
Now, that might not suit your situation, but it's just something to keep in mind. Number three, and this is one that I think if you guys, if you want to start a little business, this is what I'd be doing. I genuinely mean, I've even thought of started this, starting this business myself. If you do start it, email me because I'll be jealous and I'll say, mate, well done. I commend you because I wanted to get off my butt and start this business myself, but I haven't done it. Aero wheel covers. Now, putting an aero wheel cover over your wheels takes no effort and there's really no downsides. I mean, think about it this way. If you don't like the look of an aero wheel cover, that's okay. Just don't use it until you go on long trips, yeah? If you're going on a long trip, no one's going to see your wheels. You're on the freeway. You're driving for hours on the freeway. Anyway, here's a hack most people underestimate, aero wheel covers. Have a look at the Tour de France time trials, the world time trial races. They would never, ever ride. They would never, ever race a bicycle, right, with spokes that are very, very not aero. Wheels are one of the most turbulent parts of a car and they cause a lot of rolling resistance. Smooth covers will improve efficiency by four to six percent. That's a big difference for a couple of hundred dollars if you can get wheel covers. But here's the thing, they're not that easy to get. Anyway, let's run the numbers on an average EV with a 75 kilowatt hour battery. At 110 kilometers an hour, you'd normally get about 417 kilometers of range. With aero covers, that number jumps to 439 kilometers, about 22 kilometers extra. It's a pretty big difference, right? For a, a small item. At 120 kilometers an hour, instead of 375 kilometers of range, you'll reach 395 kilometers. Again, about 20 kilometers more range. Now, you'd think that the returns on, I initially thought, well, hang on a minute, shouldn't you add more range um, if you're going 120? Well, the thing is, if you're going 120, your range is diminishing because you're increasing your speed. I think average highway speeds in the US are probably about 80 miles an hour. You go from 259 miles up to 273 miles. That's an increase of 14 miles or 22 kilometers of free range. In other words, Adding aero wheel covers is actually like giving yourself a approximately 5% bigger battery for very little money. 20 kilometers might not sound huge, but if you're low on charge, it's a big difference, yeah? <laughs> if you're low on charge and you're looking at your destination thinking, oh, I'm getting stressed now, when you suddenly add, sometimes your com trip computer can recalibrate itself and add an extra 20 kilometers, and I don't know why it's happened to me, and when I say that, actually, when this has happened to me, I think, oh, what a relief. So it's actually more than you think. Roof racks and accessories. Another big one, roof racks and boxes. Roof racks can add an extra 25% more drag. Depending on the racks, I mean, 10 to 25%, if you've got really efficient ones, you're looking at a lot less than 25%. So it depends on your size and shape. If you're not using them, take them off. On a road trip, a roof box can cost you up to 80 kilometers of range. That's like throwing away a chunk of battery for no reason. You can actually have things behind your car rather than on the roof. That's what I'd recommend doing. Climate control and cabin preconditioning. This is another way you can save on range. Or you can actually just buy a car with a with a heat pump. A lot of cars don't come, a lot of EVs don't come standard with heat pumps. And if you're writing in the comment section, yes, they all do now, and I've heard this before, then you're kind of making yourself look a little bit like a Muppet because that's not the case at all. Anyway, climate control. Heating and cooling can eat five to 10% of your battery, especially in extreme weather. Precondition your car while it's still plugged in, so you're using grid power instead of battery power. If you're driving alone, use seat heaters or the heated steering wheel instead of blasting cabin heat. They use far less energy. Just keep that in mind. If you've got it as a heated steering wheel or heated seats, that's a much cheaper way to keep yourself warm and much more efficient. And interestingly, Hyundai or Hyundai, they have created a heated seat belt, which is a great idea. 
So there you have it. There's five easy ways to extend your EV's range. And one thing not to do, don't blow your tires up too hard. No battery upgrades required. Anyway, tire pressure, driving speed, aero covers, removing roof racks, and smart use of climate control, or not using it at all and using heated seats instead. Put these together, you could be looking at an, an additional... F <coughs> put, all of the <coughs> put all of these together, and you could be looking at an, an additional 40 to 60 kilometers of extra range. So potentially up to 40 miles. That's quite a bit. 20 to, 20 to 40 miles is possible. This is enough to make that long trip far less stressful. And it's enough to save you quite a bit of money if you're paying for charging as well. Which of these tips do you already use? Have you noticed a difference in your range? Guys, drop a comment below. And if you've gotten this far, you might as well like and subscribe the video. Thanks for watching.